Hey guys, and welcome to the second race of uh, the Orion of Well and West Any Percent No Menu Glitches Tournament. Um, so in this in this matchup, we have Phobos versus SSJ Henrik, which we'll just refer to as Henrik going forward. And they are in the lower bracket round one match, which means they're both fighting for their tournament life. The loser of this match will go out of the tournament. Um, and with me on the commentary desk, we have Clevy Zettel 5. I hope I didn't butcher your name too badly. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have going, Bill, Bill Frenis. I feel like um, pretty even gen in general. Um, only thing that separates the, the race, I think, is going to be Mapco. Um, mm -hmm. I think Phobos should have a more consistent Mapco when it comes to this. And I feel like this is going to be the end factor of this run. Um, yeah, I'm ex excited to watch. Um, you already said so, but this is the first actual loser bracket run, uh, loser bracket game. So the loser is eliminated. That maybe gives some extra pressure. So we'll see. <laughs> Definitely a lot of pressure in this one, especially like you have the the first. No one wants to be the first eliminated in any tournament, so yeah. Of course. <laughs> Maybe we'll see some more advanced backup strats than we have seen last week, because this is like where it actually matters a lot now, because you're going to lose the whole tournament if you lose. So maybe the runners are going to do some more safety strats, and maybe we can point those out if we see some. I'm sure you will, because I don't know them. <laughs> Yeah, well, I will, <laughs> I will. But it's okay. All right, I think we are ready to start now, right? I believe the runners should be signing soon. Yes, I believe the the runners will have been counted down. We just we'll wait for them. In one one or two more seconds, and then it's gonna start. And there we go. That's the start of the run. Both QTMing the first Moki cutscene. Um, the run, I think, um, most people who, who watched the other races already know. Um, we're going to collect our um, first couple spirit lights here and gonna try to opt to get the torch uh, to do some sequence breaks and go <laughs> directly out of. Um, uh the casual way you would go and torch our backup in marsh to get back to over and get the most broken ability sentry exactly so yeah so it's 200 center of sentry i'll centralize our spirit light total to get sentry which is definitely the most broken ability of this entire game um it's using some interesting ways in nmg actually but it's not really using other categories um oh. so one of the really Oh, Phobos messing up early with the early torch hover. Oh, twice messing up the torch hover. This is actually a pretty good lead for Henrik already. Henrik now in the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he gets it on the third attempt. Yeah, so one of the cool the cool little uses is we kind of use the sentry to replace double jump. Because you do not have access to double jump in this run at all. Which makes some of the movement very precise and tricky. And you do not get much chance to uh, fix your mistakes Phobos. if you do make mistakes. And Phil was failing the second torch up as well. That's not looking good. That's a really bad start for the run. But it gives <laughs> Henrik some, some head time, which he maybe needs. Yeah, as you already mentioned, Sentry is maybe not as useful in the beginning as you um, uh, as later in the run. Still, it's pretty nice to have because it often acts as a um, double jump, which you w usually would have in this area, but we don't. So it's pretty nice to have. Mm -hmm. I'm right, not getting like the super launch from the uh, from the pole jumpy thing. Um, yeah, he didn't quite get it there. Hopefully, we see it in Phobos screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see if Phobos can do it. That's a better one. That's yeah, a better think... one. Not the perfect one, but the I think one both runners will be will be feeling the nerves early, and I think the better your early game goes, like the more the nerves will sell, like quicker. Whereas maybe Phobos is still feeling it quite a lot right now, whereas Henrik might be feeling a little bit more settled. He's had a solid early game so far. 
Yeah, I think Henrik already uh, mentioned before the race that um, he was definitely not feeling too uh, bad about his whole game, honestly. He was just scared about map kill, he said. So um, I think Henrik can still put up a good fight until map kill, for sure. But I'm not sure if if, if he's going to out map kill Phobos. We'll see. Makes sense, makes sense. So I guess what we're looking for is, is how much of a lead can Henrik build before he gets to map kill, and if that lead will be enough um, to give him the enough attempts to make map kill. Right now, I would say he's probably around like five or six seconds ahead, maybe slightly more. But it's, it's still very close. Any any mistake yeah, can definitely now the ball room is is uh, very interesting. We'll see if he's gonna get messed up by the mosquito, but he he's not by the lower one, which is usually the more annoying one. So mm -hmm. he should be good. He does an extra QTM for energy here. So yeah, Spell was yeah. gonna was gonna get through as well. Almost jumping yeah, too early. This blind up. shot where the camera just doesn't want to give you auto aim is so annoying to deal with. It's, it's, it's a precise shot. Yeah. Gotta work up some visual cues and those sadly change and different camera angles. Mm -hmm. So so it's even harder. Henrik though still was a quite uh quite of a lead here. N not much though. Something you can easily catch up upon. Definitely. So, we're going into hollow right here. Um, Henrik missing some energy um, because of trying to get the energy with a sentry. <laughs> and now he's coming up to first cool trick here, doing the down swim. Out, at first, activating this ice zone from above, doing an arrow drop. There he goes. Eventually. Took a few tries there, but not too bad. That's a frame perfect trick where you have to open the menu just as you shoot the bow, and the arrow will shoot through the floor, and you can activate the ice stone without having to do the intended way. Saves a ton of time. Ooh, and that's pretty interesting. That's something we talked about. Usually, you could um, watch that cutscene, the teleporter cutscene there, and no way, no way. Okay, he he saved. I wasn't sure right now. I wasn't sure. I thought for a second Henrik would soft lock in the water because that's a thing. Uh, that can happen if you miss the safe in the water there um you can soft lock in the water and you can't come out you have to use a backup safe and if you watch the race before that happened to big deutsch which is very unfortunate and we see see phobos actually doing the backup here so phobos just went into this kid scene watching the cutscene, so they can um uh safe right here to have full generally a safe up there again so if they um miss uh the down swim save they don't soft lock in the water because shooting the eye gives you a safe inside the water so if you miss the safe inside the water you're gonna respawn in the water and be soft lock mm -hmm. makes complete sense yeah last time we watched out the back of save was like before bow so they had to do the entire getting a bow and bow room again it was like two at least two minutes worth of time loss it's really bad especially because bow room is the like worst run uh worst room of the run having like the most rng factors of the mosquitoes messing your movement up so you have to do it twice in your run which is not really what you want to see so i like phobos going for the safety strat there it's not as bad as you might think because he uh because they watch the kid scene um this kid scene is actually uh, tied to the teleporters in the game. You actually only get one teleporter cutscene. So mm -hmm. you can either get the uh, at the lower teleporter we're going to visit later or at the one up there. Right, so yeah. you're talking probably like five seconds or so at the time the Phobos is behind, he will make up just because Henrik has to watch this cutscene. Yeah, and Henrik already in the dash to sort of bounce. Um, obviously one of the hardest out of bounce or the hardest out of bounds in a run, probably, um, when it comes to not uh, getting voided, set back to your save point. It's really, really hard. And Henrik gets out to sword. Now he just has to do the coyote to not fall down to here, uh, and he gets it. That was pretty now, close. Henrik with elite. Phobos just has to get this dash to sword sequence here. 
preferably with the first try, having some trouble with the spikes there. So, Henrik is oh. up to a good lead here. Mm hmm. I think and that was. was... Still tell he's still he, he looks like he's still nervous. Sorry, they looked like they're still nervous. Yeah. In this run. And obviously, um, Dasher Sword was always one of their bigger fears. Um, it was always one of their um, worst parts of the run. Um, other top runners have less struggles with Dasher Sword, I would say. But they um, are rather known to have more trouble with Dasher Sword. So. Hopefully they'll get it here. It's really close. Just gotta get back in balance. But Henrik has a comfortable lead here. Which he, I think, which he needs. Because I don't think we're going to see a first try map call like the last race. Uh, from Henrik. Or like, from his last race. Not last race. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Bubba's struggling a little bit to get back into balance here. This uh... Trick where you um, you constantly switch your input from keyboard to keyboard and mouse, which lags the game, which allows you makes this trick easier as far as I understand. Yeah, you can basically when you do do that um, slowing down of the game, you can just <laughs> walk forward and the game loads the loads the collider perfectly, so you clip back and bounce. It's a really consistent yes. method usually. Sometimes it looks a little bit. Also going for the safe strat, he didn't do the coyote jump over, he just destroyed the wood wall above and dropped out. So there's no way for him to self lock there. You just need to have a certain amount of energy to have the bow shots. Yeah, that's also something you should definitely do in a race setting. I like what they do here, because it's a lot of safety strats. Um, I feel like that's how a tournament run should rather look like. <laughs> We're obviously more used to trying to... Um, uh, optimize for our PBs. Henrik now in the silent, uh, silent clip out of bounds, skipping the whole poisonous water section. With that, skipping a huge part of the game. In this category, yeah. we can just skip the whole poison water, and with that, the whole wellspring mission, which is actually like huge time save for generally any percent. Yeah, it's actually insane how much time that that saves. It's like a good. Casually, you're probably looking at a few hours saved. Like, yeah. Run optimally, you're still saving like 20, 30 minutes just from that. Maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes is too much. Entering down in the bubble section, and generally in Silent Wits, we're going to see a lot of um, sentry gems and sentry dashes as well. These are the biggest movement techniques we are using to actually get through the game. Um, sentry jumping and sentry dashing giving us a lot of vertical height. Um, on, and yeah, can s skip with that almost every cutscene in game by just jumping over them. And we're gonna see cutscene skip called Ku Skip by on Henry's screen as well. Like in just a second, Ku Skip is like one of the major skips again for saving time. Usually, you meet up with Ku, it's a huge long cutscene, you have to go through the section on Ku, um, which is very slow because you don't have access to dash or your sentry ability. Uh, instead, you could just do this really awesome looking uh, sentry dash and go straight over the top of the cutscene trigger. We never get on coup. And then you just continue going through um, on Ari. Another really awesome looking sentry dash there to get up to that top section. Yeah, sentry dashes are really, really fast when it comes to this game. Um, and much faster than sentry jumps, which makes them look even cooler than them. So that's. I personally like them a little bit more. Here in, Another cool new strat Phobos just did. I don't know if, if, if you guys caught it, but they dashed uh, upon the ceiling, um, resetting their dash from the ceiling every time. Just cool new strat. Uh, they have found, like, uh, yesterday. I think they posted in the Discord. Pretty cool to save some energy, to have more energy here. So again, another cool safety strat from them. Henrik now struggling a little bit with the next clip. Mm -hmm. Henrik is going to slow out. He's just finally got it, which is good. But Phobos... Definitely made up some time. That Bubbles is almost up to Kuskip. So really almost up to Kuskip. If they if they just um, fast try the cooldown clip, they are like not far behind. Definitely, Definitely a not. very close race right now. That looks like a first try. So that's a Kuskip completed for Phobos. Henrik is now going through the rest of Silent Woods, which is a, a ton of interesting movement because you basically only have dashes and sentry jumps, um, and no other movement abilities. So. Um, 
Oh, getting kind of low. Oh, I'm less than one health. I've got through that section just, just good. But there's a save and a and a uh, and a health cell, so I think gonna, it was it's gonna be just fine. Got, I don't know if that was first time, but they got um. You got it really quickly. Very quickly. So this race is getting closer and closer by the second. Yeah, Phobos is catching up. Definitely. We'll see. Feeding ground skip is going to be um, maybe an equalizer here if Hendrix is going to miss it, but I don't think Hendrix is going to miss it. Feeding ground skip having to do two perfect center jumps in a row, which is rather hard, but most top runners are pretty, pretty good on that. You're a little mm -hmm. deaf from Phobos, so that gives Hendrix some more time. <laughs> yeah, it's an unfortunate setback. And right here gets a feeding ground skip, goes out of bounds at the top, and with that skipping like 90% of the game, skipping <laughs> all the wisp collecting, which is incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the other benefit of the out of bounds, avoiding that like sand section, which requires you to go to windswept waste and get the burrow ability, you don't need to do that because you can just clip through out of bounds. Um, also, coming to feeding ground skip now is Phobos. So again, not that far behind. They're very close. Phobos is actually catching up oh. quite some time, but they missed the sentry jump there, got a QTM. Let's see, if Henrik doesn't get voided, he's he if he's gonna be pretty pretty fine here. Um mm -hmm. Elevator is um known to be a rather aggressive uh out of bounds, which when it comes to voiding you, so setting you back uh to your last save point. And We'll see if he, he gets through. Rather hard part, get, getting up the wall here fast. Not getting the sentry jumps, having to jump up. We'll see, and this is the part jumping over here to get to the save point. This is the part where you usually get avoided, but he gets it, so elevator done for him. To still be on track. Got the clip here. Nice. Henrik approaching now launch. Henrik has acquired launch. That's the last ability that you'll get for this run. That was a much better, faster elevator up because he got the sentry dash uh, on Phobos' side. They got the sentry dash, I say. So yeah, now on Phobos' claim, he's managed to go back in bounds. So Phobos. They're, they're almost at the same point, just on the other side. So Henrik has yeah. got launched, and Phobos is getting launched at this point. It's it's a very close run. Um, honestly, as I expected, uh, I think um, I think that Henrik was. I thought that Henrik was gonna get a lead at the beginning, but I still think Map Kill is gonna be obviously is gonna be the equalizer here, and gonna be the deciding factor. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It could be a very like nail biting finish, honestly. They both might just be on map kill, and it could just be the first one to get it is going to be the winner. This is going to be a uh, race almost like Fo uh, no, not Phobus, but Snowstorm and Abra. We had the race Snowstorm and Abra both being on map kill, and then Snowstorm suddenly deciding to shoot Shriek Skip, which was like crazy decision to do Shriek Skip after failing a few map kills. So this is looking like a race like this. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. I I still think um, Henrik might be going for a Shriek Skip here. Shriek Skip being the slower, much slower method, optimally, uh, than Map Kill, but much more reliable. You can get like 100% Shriek Skip in like 120 seconds, uh, 1 minute and 20 seconds, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, and optimally, you get a sh Map Kill in 15 seconds. Map Kill is fist absurdly harder than um, uh, Shriek's game. So, yeah, maybe we're gonna see Henrik do it. I think he's he wants to do it. Oh no, he clips oh. back and bounds in a willow clip. That's really bad. That That's some time for Phobos. It's definitely time loss. He's struggling to get back into it here. Oh, Phobos taking a fortunate death though. I not guess even... it doesn't even matter, actually. It's not yeah. even important because the safe point is right there. It's, it's actually really quite a uh, nice step there. Mm -hmm. Because you get nice uh, more energy and health. Mm -hmm. Henrik now not getting the Willow Clip again. And it... Willow Clip equalizing the times here. 
Pretty much. Bobo's on to World Cup himself. Of themselves. Yep, to slip first try. This is really good for them. Well, they are catching up. This is just the out of bounds in Willow. We are basically even right now. Neck and neck coming into the final section of the game where we put the attempt on Shriek. I'm so interested what they are going to do. Both <laughs> runners have a big decision uh, be uh, in front of them. Are they going mm -hmm. to do Mapco or are they going to do Shriek Skip? This is really interesting. I, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Maybe they, if they're not watching, them, they might not know where the other person is. So maybe they just have their game plan. I'm pretty sure not. both both are not watching the other race. So I think <laughs> Henrik is gonna go for a shriek skip here. Not sure. We'll see. Henrik getting a little equalized in the time right now. Getting pause on the stream. So we're actually even. Phil was starting the shriek fight on in-game time first. That's <laughs> map kill for first, first try. Henrik, trying the clip, doesn't get it first try. Gets the retry though, doesn't get it. Phobos now out of bounds. Phobos now just needs to open the map on a jump and gets the kill here. Shriek seems to not be jumping. I don't have the game sound, so I can't tell. Opens the map and that should be the oh, call. Phobos clutches it out. Wow. Oh my goodness, that was insane. That was about kill. This is first time, no problem. But that was a... before the start of the race that they were very confident in That was a really map good map call. But wow. That was that... crazy. GG. GG, definitely. Henrik now struggling on map call. Of course, um, I knew that this was going to happen, but hopefully he will get it. Map call is such a, such a hard trick in the ending of a run. Um, so frustrating, frustrating to play with. If you want to get like a 17 time or something, 18 times are definitely possible without map call, but getting a 17 time is map call kinder um, force to have. And it's really frustrating for runners to, to run with map call because it's such a hard trick in the end of the run. It's like Henrik is... Looking to switch to Shriek Skip at this point. They just took Shriek into phase two, which means the map kill is no longer available without resetting. Henrik actually going for the Shriek Skip now? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Get a little bit. Lots of pressure. So more the help just makes it through, nice. But Shriek Skip takes some time. It's definitely not a fast yeah. strategy compared to first time map kill. As I said, map map kill optimally 15 seconds. Shriek Skip optimally 1 minute and 20 seconds, 1 minute and 15 seconds. That's a huge time difference, almost a minute. So obviously you want to get map kill in your PB for your optimal time. But sometimes in a race setting, Shriek Skip might be the better answer if you think that you would finish with that faster. But I think it's really a big decision if you do it um, depending on your enemy or I'm. If you think they can, um, if they can map call consistently enough. Mm -hmm. You see Phobos finishing now on the crawl. Yeah, so time can have Phobos very shortly, probably, I don't even know, it's probably less than 50 seconds, probably like 10 seconds. Henrik now got the kill as well. So we're yeah, so both Henry in the ending cutscenes. Gets the shriek skip and gets the kill through that. So Phobos is going to be taking in the match and progressing on in the tournament. And unfortunately, Henrik is, is now going to be out of the tournament. But still, GG well played to both runners. That was a really incredible race, really close to the end. I mean, if Henrik just gets that clip at some point, like, you know... If, if just... Henrik would have just gotten the clip first, first try as well, that mm -hmm. would have been a basically tied time. I don't know how close that would have been. That is, that would have been very incredible. Close. Like, so Phobos getting the, the finish at, with the time of 19.09. And it will be a couple of minutes slower, I think. Just gotta watch I wonder this if, they, if they know. Um, we'll see. Um, I think we're gonna have both runners come up in the Discord soon. We're waiting still on Phobos, and then we're gonna have a little chat with them.
Mm, very interested in what was Phobos thinking during the early game because they had like not really mm -hmm. some time loss and I think they probably thought they were quite behind. How they were feeling is probably very interesting. Agreed. Okay, I uh, we have both runners ready now, so I think we're gonna move them in. That's okay. Oh, this is good. No, I'm just the trick. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Who was already was in the credits, so I can't deny. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. I got it, it first by map kill, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a really, really clutch ending. You both started shriek on the exact same in-game time seconds, yeah. so you oh, were wow. dead we even. <laughs> oh my god! Did Phobos get it first try? Phobos just first tried map kill. Of yeah. course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really, really uh, incredible. I had a such really an awful close race. Um, yeah, I, I kind of knew I was going to miss Math Kill today. I, it, 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 uh, it has been like that all day, so. It's <laughs> uh, unfortunate. I've, I have one question for Fellows. Um, um, <laughs> you were like in the early game, right? You had some time losses, right? What did you think uh, yeah. in the early game about your end? What were your thoughts? Uh, I knew I was behind. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I failed the torch hours. That was awful. But uh, I knew I could make up the time if I just executed in the second half, which I mostly did. So it was all right. Yeah, you felt, uh, um, Henrik was like, um, uh, like the majority of the run uh, ahead of you. And yeah, I like I, th I think until Shriek, he was ahead of you, but then Henrik missed the Willow Clip. But yeah, mm. missed the Willow Clip and clip back in, uh, clip back oh, in bounds. Course. Yeah, I and then having a lot clip too. Uh. I also had a twenty second loss at the uh, the elevator with not getting any of the stashes. Yeah. So Phobos was slowly catching up from the early game during the run and then you yeah. guys had just a perfectly synced streak start which was really cool <laughs> it was really awesome yeah how, how were both of you guys' nerves in the early game were, were you feeling the pressure of um of being the potential first person out of the tournament i was shaking <laughs> i felt the most pressure when i was going to the coyote jump the the jump over to this world, like if I miss this, it's over. But then oh, after, uh, but yeah. after that, I felt like everything was good until I started map kill. Now I was like, I know Phobus is around the same time. He has to be. If he hasn't done any big mistakes, he's he's here with me. Yeah. And then I knew I was going to fail map kill, but I tried like six or eight times to get the map kill, and then I knew I was. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah I. Um, that was now the last match for Henrik, so yes. you're eliminated mm -hmm. from the yes. tournament. Um, I'm free. <laughs> I'm free, free finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I'm going to mention is that we're gonna have the next race uh, on Sunday, I think, right? Not tomorrow, but the day the day after, right? And that's gonna be another winners bracket game. Um, that's gonna be me versus Snowstorm. Yeah, and right. Phobos. And... Yeah, oh, sorry, go on. no, you go. On. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say yes, and and actually the loser of Snowstorm and Phoebe will drop down into the losers bracket and face Phobos. Yep. Has now moved on to the second round of the little bracket. And and the winner, I should also say, will 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 face Kiku 
uh, licks them in the winner bracket finals, and the winner and whoever wins that will move on to the grand finals. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for for the for winner bracket, you if you can just go through the winner bracket, you're going to be playing actually a lot less runs, um, which is possibly a good or I don't know if it's even a, a good thing. It could be a good thing to just have less yeah. pressure and less. Uh, uh, you know, the more runs you have, the more chances that something may go wrong. Because this this category is just such a punishing category. There are so many points where if you make mistakes, you can straight soft lock the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can you can have to do backup saves, which lose you minutes. Even some of the less punishing tricks, even if you make a mistake, you're still losing 30, 40 seconds or something. Like it's actually yeah. crazy. Because it's such a short run, those time uh, losses are just in, like they're just incredible in a race setting. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, generally after starting this tournament, I I view it much differently. I feel like the categories rather it's so it's so doesn't feel like a good race category in particular. I feel like it's really hard to have a have a good race. It's just yeah. really big tricks that lose a lot in a very short run. Like, you have to review those times. It says 21 and 19 on the screen right now, but actually, these are like three-minute cutscenes in the end, so these times are actually much lower, right? So it's mm -hmm. even worse yeah. as, as you might think. Yeah, the, the times do, do not reflect the runner's performances whatsoever. They were even... They, by the time we got to the last trick in the game, they were dead even. That's just yeah. that that trick is so difficult that it made eventually a uh, almost two and a half minute time difference. It's, an, it's just crazy. It's very, very hard to get quickly. I'm lucky I got it first try, but I just practiced a lot on that trick. Okay, Clevy, do you have any more questions for either of the runners? Or anything you guys want uh, to talk to us about? Uh, Loser's brackets better than winner brackets, question mark? That's what you mean by that, sorry. Yeah, I, I just joked about uh, who the loser brackets, also me and Fugus, have better time than the winner brackets. Oh, <laughs> <earlier> <laughs> <today>. <laughs> right, I understand. Yes, yes. Okay, well, GG, well played to both of the runners. Thanks, everybody who, who, um, Tune in. Hang out to watch and to, yeah, tune in. That's the right word. I can words. Um, <laughs> thank you to Clevy for 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 joining me in commentary and doing most of the work. Probably uh, <laughs> thanks to Luster in the background for for doing all of this up, doing a really amazing job. No one, the they're yeah, you don't see them, but they they do all the streaming and stuff, and it's really good. Um, and yeah, yeah big, big the next friend. The next run is on Sunday. I believe it starts at 7 p.m. East, um, not Eastern time, sorry, uh, Central European summertime. Um, yeah, which is, what time is that for me? 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Center time. Yeah, I send so in the bracket as well again, so, yeah. So, yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. We will be ending now. Hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining. And again, GG to both the runners. Congratulations to Phobos, to um, getting to the next round, and commiserations to Henrik for, for being not out of the tournament. For being the first one out. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 yeah, bye guys. Bye.